If you're looking for an alternate method of checking statistics on your WordPress blog rather than using the popular Google Analytics, StatConer at http colon slash slash www.statcounter.com has a very simple and free system including a plugin which makes installation very simple. These two videos will walk you through the creation and installation of the counter. If this is your first time at Stat Counter, click on register now and register a free account. Once you've registered an account, then simply go up in the upper left hand corner and using your username and password, log into your account. As soon as you log in, if you've previously set up stat counters for some of your previous websites, you'll see them all listed on the main page. We'll cover that in a moment. To get started, click on Add a New Project. All of these steps in setting up the counter are pretty well self-explanatory, so we'll go through them quickly. First of all, it asks for your website title and your website URL. Once you filled in the title and your website URL, choose a category. In this case, this is an easy one. This is a pet site. And then you can set the time zone. The maximum uh, visit length. I'm going to leave this information for you to read through. It's all self-explanatory here, so we won't tie up video time here with going through these. Uh, and uh, we'll move on to the next step here. Public stats just means you can put a link on yours where anybody can view the stats. I always leave mine uh, non-public. Click on Next. On this page you click on uh, Configure and Install Code. On this page we'll choose some specifics about how our counter will look. Again, these are self-explanatory so we'll go through these rather quickly. Just put a check mark in the radio button uh, making the choices that you want. It can be invisible or visible. I always use a visible. Click on Next. Several more choices here. Do you want just unique visits to show or are you more interested in page load? I'm going to choose uh, unique visits and then what number would you like to start on in other words the counter is going to show up uh, if you like on the bottom of your page you want it to start at 0 would you like it to start at 100 or 1000 you can choose whatever you like we'll leave this one at 0 and click next and move on on this uh, page you'll have the choice between a graphic or text I've used both they both seem to work very well in this case we'll choose text click next on this page you get a chance to, to uh, uh, choose your text formatting by clicking in the radio button that you like. Again, if you want view my stats, you can, you can have that. We'll leave that blank in this case and click on Next. Now for our WordPress installation purposes, we've got an important decision, or not a decision, really a, a choice to make here. In this first box, in the drop down box, if you were going to use this on a regular HTML uh, website, you can continue on with this in the default install guide. For WordPress, we're going to click down and we're going to look for WordPress.org. I pay for the hosting. You can, as you can see, you can also use on WordPress.com. And I haven't used it because I don't use uh, uh, any free blogs, but it wouldn't surprise me that there's an option here for that also. But for WordPress, where you're hosting your own, you'll click on that choice and then click on Next. Now if you were installing this on a regular HTML page, it would be just be a matter of, of copying this script information, all of this, and install it on your web page just above the uh, slash body tag at the end of your web page. But for WordPress, we're going to scroll down and read some more instructions here. And as it says here, you can click here to download a zip version of the stat, 
counter WordPress plugin. Now this is a special plugin. You'll use FTP and upload it with the rest of your plugins. Uh, and this will allow you to actually install this counter. You'll see there's some more instructions here. But basically what they're going to tell you to do, once you've installed the plugin, you're going to come back and copy three pieces of information. You don't copy the whole code. You're simply going to copy three pieces of information. The first piece will be this right here. The project, oh, went too far there. This project number, 4292179, you're going to copy that. Then you're going to go down and copy the partition number, which is 54. And then you're going to copy the security number, which in this case is 37, small e, 8, small d, bb, small a. That's the only three pieces of information you need from here. Now, once you have those three pieces of information and you've uh, installed your plugin, we'll go back to the, uh, to the blog and actually install the uh, counter. Now if you'll move to video number two, we'll complete the process.